And the biopsy confirmed that a tumor that is malignant and a malignant cancer known as connected tissue sarcoma is what was causing the swelling. It's a cancer of the bone, muscle, and ligaments. Commissioner Todd Portoon making a stunning announcement today about his cancer diagnosis and his planned surgery within the next few days. The surgery will be performed in such a manner that the tumor and all cancer cells that may exist within certain margins around where the tumor is are completely removed. And all of that's a rather technical way of saying that in my case, the only way to provide the assurance needed to completely remove the cancer is to amputate my left leg above the knee. Portoon has battled spinal cord tumors since 1996. In 2002, several of the tumors hemorrhaged, resulting in paralysis from the chest down and other complications, including three spinal cord surgeries. But anyone who knows the commissioner will tell you Todd Portoon attacks his health challenge like he tackles any political challenge, and that's head on. His perseverance and tenacity is just so evident in the challenges he's overcome uh, so far in his own life and that uh, whenever life does give him lemons, he always uh, makes lemonade. He is the epitome of bouncing back and saying, okay, I've got this delay for a moment here, but I'm going to keep doing the work uh, from the hospital bed, continue to influence the direction that we head in. Following surgery, Portoon hopes to be fitted for a prosthetic leg and return to office as soon as possible. I'm blessed with a great circle of friends, family and physicians and colleagues, and I know that I will complete this new challenge in the same positive and successful manner as I've done with all other physical challenges that I have addressed in the past. And we all wish uh, Commissioner Portoon well. That surgery is scheduled for Monday at the James Cancer Center up in Columbus. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.